Welcome. This activity is called May the Force and is designed for 9 to 11 year olds. In this activity, you'll be getting children to explore static electricity and how it's used to make objects move. More specifically, they're going to find out how to move this with this. Before attempting this activity or any others, you should complete and adhere to a suitable risk assessment. When working with static electricity, it's possible a tiny electrical charge may get transferred from an object to a person or even between people. You should also explain to children that aluminium cans have sharp edges around the rims so they need to be careful when handling them. Before you begin the activity, you should make sure you have everything to hand to perform the experiment. You should already have some inflatable balloons with some backups just in case they pop. You should have the empty aluminium drink cans and some cloths to charge the balloons like this. You also might want other materials to hand that the children can try moving later, like foil containers, pieces of tissue paper, paper clips, and some salt and pepper. Once that's done, it's time to begin the activity. Start by handing out the student guide for this activity, which includes the sheet to record the results on. You could start by asking the children if they've ever seen a tractor beam. You can prompt them by suggesting they've seen one in a sci-fi movie. You might want to have a short video clip of a relevant scene to show them to help set the context. From here, ask the children what techniques, technology and phenomena could be used to make a tractor beam and allow them time to discuss it. Once they've exhausted all their ideas, get out an inflatable balloon and ask whether any of the children know how it may be used to attract other objects. Now, hand out your balloons explaining how they can make things move without touching them, just like a tractor beam. You might want to rub a balloon on your clothes and hold it near your hair at this point to show them what static electricity can do. It's now time for a different experiment. Explain how rubbing the balloon on different surfaces will have different effects on the strength of attraction of the can and allow the children time to play and explore rubbing their balloons on different surfaces, making note of the results before moving to the next step. You should make sure the children use a consistent system to track the strength of each method by placing the can in the same place each time, measuring carefully how close the balloon needs to be to make the can move. It is important to say here that each child should use the same balloon every time, so the results are accurate and fair. Get them to fill out the chart in the student guide to track their results. Explain that when the balloon is rubbed against your clothes, it builds up a negative electrical charge on its surface but because the balloon doesn't conduct electricity, the charge has nowhere to go, hence the word static. The negative electrical charge naturally wants to spread to other objects that do not have a negative charge though, which is why it will attract to objects with a neutral charge. This is what causes the balloon to attract to other objects. Here's a breakdown of the lesson so far. Step-by-step -step guide. Prepare equipment. Discuss the examples of the tractor beam in a movie and how we might make one. Use the balloon to create static electricity and explain how it works. Experiment with the can and different material surfaces. Maintain a fair test and track the results. Once the children have decided which surface or material is the best for creating an electrical charge, why not set them an extra challenge like adding variables into the experiment? Suggest rubbing the balloon at different speeds, holding it at different distances or blowing up the balloon to different sizes. They can track their results in the chart, making specific notes as to what effect the variables had, if any. Finally, depending on time, you can suggest testing other ways to create and use static electricity. You can find out more examples in the Movies and Magic Guide. Thank you.